Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we have a Ferrari F40 competition test version. This was a race version which Ferrari made and modified quite many things in it which we're going to discuss in the video actually. It's a very unique model and it was very limited. I think 19 were made in total in the original Ferraris and they were meant only for the race purpose. And this one is one of it. And this one is from Hartfield Elites. Very good model. Let's see. Let's bring the camera closer and have a look on it. So the Ferrari F40 competition test version, as I said before, made by Hartfields. Very unique model, as you can see. It has quite many changes in it and quite many modifications to do the race, to bring it on the race version and it was quite fast at the time it was produced. As you can see starting from the front, the spoiler with the hinges over here attaching and the huge cube over here for the air intake to give it a downforce and cool it out even as well as you can see it's a big huge cube over here which takes the air out from it from here and it, it's on a big speed even the front lights have been changed no opening lights static lights both of them and a small knob over here to pull the car as you can see over here and the wheels have also been changed, replaced and these are Aussie wheels which were installed in that car, in this car, the real car and the front hood, the bonnet, it all comes out and there is quite much going on in there which we will talk in a while after going through the details on the exterior and moving forward, I mean, they have installed extra two fuel tanks in it, two on both sides. Normally, F40 has two tanks, one on each side, but this has two tanks, as you can see over here, which uh, has extra fuel or maybe something else going on with it, and small aerodynamic features added, like this one over here and a couple of few changes were made on the front and on the sides then moving towards the back the spoiler has changed as you can see the black one over here it has more aerodynamics on it as you can see this way and fins over here and there is a small line fin type thing stored over here and these extensions over here as well are extra features and a pulley over here to pull the car and a big huge diffuser is installed over here as you can see it's an extra feature in this car they were meant for racing basically that's why they have used quite many different things in it to bring it on the level and make it more faster and more aerodynamically stabilized to the road and it was a very good success and uh, it's all grill over here Hartfield also did a very good job making this model I mean there are, I haven't seen any other model I mean BBR has made it now and Davis and Giovanni has also made it but those are resin and no opening parts and this one over here is all opening has all opening parts and steerable wheel as well as you can see it can move front and forward it has big brake calipers as you can see installed This is it. I mean, the interior, there are quite many things changed. I mean, all the interior is changed, seat belts and everything. 
is changed. We'll talk about it in a while, but let's open the front hood and see what it is. There you are. This is the front end hood inside, as you can see. Big hole over here for the air intake. Let's keep it like this. And now you can see the grill over here for the air intake. It goes from here and goes out. And the suspension has shocks and everything installed in it. In red color. It's quality to detail. Giving these in red color and making it accurate. There you go. There's a radiator underneath there. If you can have a look which is meant to be cooled from the air it's sucking in and taking out and all the small components bottles fluids liquid bottles are installed behind the cube air cube and i think this is supposed to pull the bonnet out i suppose and as you can see tell by the flat tires these are the race tires normally the cars have there you are. it's a good detail i mean in this model by hot wheels quite many things have been improved but it's a very limited model as well i mean you can't find it easy these days you might be able to find in different color with all the branding and all that but in red color simple red color the furry red color you may not be able to find so easily if you would but the price tag will be quite high and there you are this is the interior of the f40 lm as you can see there is quite many the steering wheel is different and there is a roll bar over here as well and this is all tub the main tub which is all textured like carbon fiber and small things the gear knob and the gear system has changed the uh, pedals are quite big and on the other side we'll talk about that even the door panel is plain and simple as you can see over here with a big hole in it even though side mirrors has only the winds window to talk about i mean the sports window which is normally pushed forward and pushed back while the driver wants to talk on the pit stop let's move on this side now there you are now you can see there is a big cylinder lying there even on the dashboard we have these small gadgets going on the wiring the buckets the race seats with the seat belts for the race are installed there so it's totally a race version not a road legal version type of a thing and it is not actually a road legal i suppose if i'm wrong maybe correct me guys i'm not pretty sure but i think it's not a road legal car because the engine is full of power and everything is full of power and it's quite difficult to manage it on the road so let's open the engine there you are Quite many changes have been made in this engine, as you can see. Quite many upgrades, even the exhaust has been upgraded and everything is different from a normal F40. Big. suspension on the back is visible and everything is visible it does have a stick to hold it but yeah yeah 
now it's more easier to explain. So the exhaust system has changed over here. As you can see, the pipes are more bigger, and the uh, turbo is here. This area is upgraded with different components. Quite much change in this car as it is a sports version, I mean race version. The big spoiler, uh, diffuser over here for the air dynamic. Yeah. And let's close it. So the back window, the engine window is again same cuts, F40 cuts still there. Overall the model is very good looking but by the time I mean this model has some paint rashes on it which are quite obvious as you can see. So but I'm happy with the model I mean it has its value and I love this model a lot and it was seriously quite hard to get the hand on this one in red color i bought it second hand and from ebay but i really wanted this in my collection and i got a chance a couple of years back and the guy was selling it but i paid a bit extra but still it was a good thing to have in a collection so guys what do you think about this model please do let me know in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and take care goodbye and be safe